Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to Korean Atlanta Mentorship. So I was looking at the number of videos that I had and I was like, uh-oh. And I figure, man, I think um, there's going to be a blessing that's going to happen to me today. And I feel like that's going to be uh, a reason why I'll make another video. And you know what? Something actually did happen, right? So this is not going to be this number after I upload uh, this video <laughs> anymore. And so guess what happened? I got more credit, right? And so let me just kind of take a look here. And you can see that. Bam. So right there, we got more credit. And <laughs> it's crazy, right? And so my last video is how I got $516,000 in lines of credit. I don't know if you see this well. But basically, um, I was just like, you know what? I want to see if I increase my credit limit. And believe it or not, I got dw denied 12 times in the past 12 months, I think. 12 times, right? So I know people are like, oh, I got to have like the perfect credit score. I don't even I don't even care. I don't care, right? Like, because, you know, you always, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. And so many people are just waiting for the perfect moment. And I got a $280,000 line of credit on Friday where I closed on it. And I was able to f use it at like 6 p.m. And it's like, sweet. And then, um, you know, I got this other line of credit. And let's just sum it up. Let's use that sum fun function. So it's going to be sum, where is it? Right there. You, you hit that sigma button, skibbity toilet, what am I talking about? But as you can see here, and let me go ahead and increase that, that with all the lines of credit that I have, it's up to $517,000 now. Uh, the last video I made was five hundred sixteen, so I just got a $1,000 extra, and I don't know if you can see that, yes. And Chase was like, congratulations, $1,000 more, and you want to know the secret to all of this, and I tell you all the time, but I don't know if anybody listens, I'll be honest, because I can't, I don't understand what you're all thinking through the internet. A lot of you are like silent ninjas, which is okay, because that's kind of my personality too. Um, but here's a secret to getting credit, all right? Secret. The secret is banks don't lend money to people who need it, okay? That's the ultimate secret. So every time I wake up, I just kind of like, do I need money today? Oh, I don't? Okay, I apply for it. And I get, again, like I said, I get rejected a lot of times. Uh, tw I think 12 times in the past 12 months. And people are freaking out. Oh my goodness, you got denied. But most of it are soft pulls. But once in a while, I'll do a hard pull. And then, and I don't like, even if I get denied and my credit score goes down, I don't really care. Because I know deep down internally whether I need money or not. And so what happens with a lot of people is that when they do need money, they try to get it from banks and they end up trying to scam them, which you should not do. Never lie on a credit application, right? Build a foundation. Do things the right way. And this is why I talk about when it comes to velocity banking, it's not about getting yourself out of a jam to get a line of credit or you're not going to get a line of credit to get, get out of jam. It's basically you learn how to never get in the jam if you know how to use a line of credit correctly, right? Because again, if you're ever in a situation where you have like 20 something debts, the only way you ha you're going to get a line of credit to get you out of the jam is to have it before you ever need it, right? And some people do get lucky. Uh, but here's a secret. I want to tell you that um, banks, you know why banks want to lend to me? You know why they want to lend to me? Because I don't need money. I don't need money. And, and it's so weird how maybe because I brainwashed myself so much with this ideology, how so many people kind of resist this. Even even the nurse that I'm trying to help with velocity banking is like resisting it. Right. I got one ten thousand dollar card and I'm like, you make more money than me. Or at least I'm thinking I'm saying the most diplomatic way that you make more money than me. And you probably have more home in your equity than I do, or actually probably not because I paid off my mortgage, but you <laughs> could have gotten a huge home equity line of credit. And there's always that resistance because in her mind, she's thinking, I don't really need this. I got a $10,000 credit card. And it's like, no, 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 you don't understand. You need to get it when you, you need to get the credit when you don't need the money, right? That's how banks work. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so you might be thinking, what's the point of getting the extra thousand dollars of credit? Because, well, how did you get it? Well, let's ask that one is because I got it when I did not need it. 
and what is the point of getting all this credit? So there's two points to this. Number one is cash flow management, right? We all learned about that from uh, Velocity Banking. And then number two, right, if we're smart with our credit, is easy access to opportunities, okay? And I was talking to someone this morning at like 9 a.m., someone that I know, and I told her, listen, you know why you want to build up? One of the reasons why you want to build up all this credit so you don't have to do any partnerships, right? Because the partnership is the only ship that was designed to break. And so if you if you build credit, you, you have complete control of your money and the bank has the infrastructure to support that, right? The bank understands how much risk they can take based on your income and your, your payment history. So when they see that you don't need the money and you've been using your credit responsibly, they give you more money because... Their goal is to hope that you spend up to a certain limit to the point where you don't know how to manage your payments anymore, even though you make good money, right? That's like the ultimate bank's goal. But again, if you know Velocity Banking, it's actually the foundation of kind of good money management if you learn it before you even take on debt. Because what do you do? You get one of these lines of credit and you're going to put it in its entirety into the, the, the paycheck, into the entirety of the line of credit. And again... This is the secret that nobody really wants to listen to is that banks don't lend money to people who need it. Okay. I didn't need the money today. And as you can clearly see, I, again, I got this new $280,000 home equity line of credit and I did not need this extra thousand dollars in credit, but that's why I got it because I did not need it. And now uh, I'm blessed and, and it's an excuse for me to make another video so that, that the, the video counter goes up, right? We don't want to stay at that number uh, at, or as little as possible, okay? All right, so uh, this is Korean Atlanta Mentorship. So um, how are you with the credit game? Do you watch other credit channels? I like to watch other credit channels once in a while. And, uh, you know, if you want to put in a comment just to kind of uh, brag, or what's another way to say it? Uh, flex. <laughs> put, in the, put in the comments below how much you got. I got 516 or 517, my bad, extra $1,000. All right, have a great day, everybody, and we'll speak next time.